International bolting standards call for a hardened washer to be placed under every threaded nut or bolt head in order to protect the flange surfaces from damage or embedment, provide a consistent low friction turning surface under each nut, and to better distribute bolt load around the joint because of its larger surface area. The new high torque washer is a unique hardened washer that not only gives all of these advantages, but also becomes the reaction point for the torquing tool right under the nut eliminates any possible pinch points for the operator's fingers. No searching for an external blocking point. No bending or side loading of the bolt, straight axial load. Smooth, consistent, low friction surface for the nut to turn on. Full range of materials options for every application. Works with both pneumatic and hydraulic torque tools. And with the addition of a companion friction washer, eliminates the need for a backup wrench to hold the opposite nut. New high torque washers come in a full range of inch and metric sizes, which are clearly indicated on the bottom side of the washer. They comply with all ASME, ASTM, and API requirements for dimensions, hardness, and thickness. The top has a polished surface against which the nut will turn, while the bottom, which goes next to the flange face, is knurled so that it will not rotate as the nut is tightened. The new high torque washer is used on only one side of the joint and no other washer should be used under it. Normal bolt and nut lubrication practices should be followed. Lubricant is only necessary on the bolt threads and between the nut or bolt head and the top of the new high torque washer, not between the washer and the flange. Remember that the correct torque value for any given bolt is heavily dependent upon the lubricant used. Consult the appropriate standards or torque to load guidelines for your project. A good place to start would be to consult ASME guideline PCC1, Appendix J and K if you have any questions on what torque to apply. The normal practice is to adjust the stud so that when it is tightened, the top end will protrude two to three threads above the nut. This is for inspection purposes to ensure that the nut and stud are fully engaged. There is usually no reason for the stud to extend more than this, and any excess length should be adjusted to the other side of the flange so that the socket can engage the entire nut without obstruction. It is permissible in areas of high corrosion for the stud to be flush with the nut after tightening to lessen the risk of thread damage and so that the nut can be more easily removed. Normally, no lubricant is necessary on the backside nut. Often, the back nut tends to turn during tightening, requiring the use of a clumsy and dangerous backup wrench, which creates a pinch hazard and may have to be beaten off. To eliminate this problem, simply insert the innovative friction washer under the back nut. Its dual knurled faces keep the nut from turning as soon as load begins to be applied to the bolt. Both it and the new high torque washer meet all the applicable standards for hardened washers, and both are completely reusable. The key to getting all of the benefits of the new high torque washer is to use a dual drive and reaction socket, which holds on to the washer and turns the nut against it. There are three socket systems that do exactly that. The first is the dual splined drive socket used with the revolutionary Z-Gun pneumatic torque tool. This is the fastest and easiest way to get all of the benefits of this reaction-free technology. The outer socket fits onto the new high torque washer and engages splines on the body of the torque tool, while the inner socket connects to the tool's drive and turns the nut. The Z-Gun's impact action zips the nuts down instantly, and then it shifts effortlessly into its controlled torquing mode, all the while reacting against the washer with no external pinch points or unwanted side loads. For the first time, controlled torque is possible with an air tool without sacrificing speed and flexibility. The second method not only allows the new high torque washer to be used in areas where the Z-Gun will not fit, but it allows the simultaneous use of multiple tools to ensure parallel flange closure, and it works hands-free, even upside down. The secret is a simple, ingenious retainer that attaches to the powerful Slimline Stealth hydraulic wrench. The retainer kit consists of a thin reaction plate to hold on the new high torque washer and a companion tool holding plate and a simple retaining nut that secures the unit onto the stud. Let's see how it works. With new high torque washers in place, 
knurled side facing the flange, snug the nut so that one to three stud threads are exposed. Don't forget the friction backup washers under the opposite nuts. With the stealth in the tighten position, invert the tool and attach the reaction plate to the opposite side, engaging the dowel pins into the side plate and secure it with an Allen screw. Flip the wrench again and insert the tool holding plate into the pins of the tightened side, securing it also with a screw. Now place the wrench tighten side away from the flange over the nut, seating the reaction plate onto the new high torque washer. Screw on the spring loaded retainer by hand until snug. The wrench is now securely attached and will operate hands-free on vertical or even inverted applications. If you're using multiple tools, connect them all to a common hydraulic pump and bring your flanges together flat and parallel without anyone touching the tools. And don't forget, no backup wrench needed. To remove a nut, simply reverse the process. Begin with the stealth in the loosen position. Invert the tool and attach the reaction plate and secure it with a screw. Flip the tool and engage the tool holding plate. Place the tool onto the stud and the new high torque washer with the loosened side of the tool away from the joint face. Snug the retaining nut in place by hand and you're ready to go. Long stud? No problem. Just run the retaining nut down until the tool is secure against the joint. A third technique is to use the patented dual drive offset link powered by a high torque Avanti or ICE hydraulic tool. This link allows precision and power to be applied even in the tightest clearance areas, once again without any external reaction or pinch points. The outer hexagonal piece reacts against the new high torque washer while the inner socket tightens the nut. To combine one of these hydraulic wrenches with the offset link, Begin by choosing the correct size ratcheting socket for the nut to be tightened and for the size of the square drive in the hydraulic wrench. The links are easily exchanged by removing the two retaining bolts. The direction, whether to tighten or loosen, is determined by the direction of the tightening wrench. The word tighten or loosen is stamped onto the side of the tool and can be read once the square drive of the tool has been inserted into the drive receptacle. Each offset link is marked with a factor, which indicates how to compensate for any gear ratio effects through the link. The desired torque to be applied to the nut is multiplied by this factor to determine the input torque value on the appropriate torque to pressure conversion chart for the tool being used. For example, suppose that the desired torque on a given nut is 500 foot-pounds, and the factor on the link is 1.1, Multiply 500 times 1.1, which equals 550. Read down the torque column of the chart to determine the setting. Suppose that the job at hand is to apply 600 foot-pounds of torque to this 1.5 inch bolt and 2 and 3 eighths inch nut using an ICE-1 wrench. See the ICE hydraulic tool operation video for a review of how to assemble and adjust the pump and tool. Choosing an offset link with a 3 quarter square drive receptacle and a 2 and 3 eighths ratcheting link would be appropriate because 600 foot-pounds is well within the capability of the 3 quarter inch drive ICE-1. Assume that the adjustment factor printed on the 2 and 3 eighths ratcheting insert is 1.1. Following the formula engraved on the side plate of the offset link, desired torque times factor equals input torque, we would multiply 600 by 1.1 to get the input torque value of 660 for our torque to pressure conversion. Reading down the torque column for the ICE-1, we find that the pressure corresponding to 660 foot-pounds is 5,000 PSI. This is the value we will set on the pump. Attach the offset link to the nut. Insert the ICE-1 into the offset link drive receptacle so that the word tighten is visible as you look down on the tool. Begin tightening normally until the wrench stalls at the preset adjusted torque value. Note, most bolts are tightened in a pattern and in gradually increasing increments. Follow your indicated bolting plan, 
varying the pump pressures according to your desired torque on each pass. To remove the nut, simply turn the ICE-1 tool over, with the drive in the opposite side. Note that the word loosen will now be legible on the side of the ICE. Increase the pump pressure to at or near its maximum, giving the wrench its full power. Press and hold the actuator button on the pump until the nut turns and proceed to remove all the nuts. If the nut will not move at 10,000 PSI, you will need a larger torque wrench. The offset link can also be used with the Z-Gun pneumatic tool. It is important to note that the new high-torque washer can always function as if it were a generic hardened washer, and the nut can be tightened or loosened with any manual or powered bolting tool should the need arise, so you are never dependent on specialized tooling to apply or remove it if need be. So there you have it, the new high-torque washer. Fast, safe, simple, and inexpensive. Why wouldn't you want to have one under every nut you tighten? See your sales consultant or call 1-800-367-4986 to schedule a free demonstration at your location.